Welcome back to your hour. Joining me now is Jamie Prothro, who is the new director of libraries as of what date? Monday, October 4th. Oh, wow. So you are brand new. Very fresh. <laughs> yes. Very fresh. <laughs> We're calling this the fire hose of information week. <laughs> yeah. And, and a lot's going on this week, too. But, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what's your background? Yeah. Um, I... I started working in public libraries when I was in high school, so about 17 years old. Um, mm -hmm. Started shelving and loved the environment and yeah. continued working in libraries, academic and public, all through college and decided I needed to get a job. And what did <laughs> I want to do? Um, so I also worked in different bookstores and yeah. um, just a, I'm a, a lifelong reader and that environment has always well suited me but um, I went and got a master's degree in library science at uh -huh. Emporia State University and um, worked here in Wichita in a variety of positions as a part-timer um, yeah. and became the first ever green branch manager and I was just calculating that was in 2002 so about 20 years ago okay uh, when we opened the evergreen branch in North Wichita yeah, right yeah. and um, just held another job as customer service manager until 2012 when I left to go to Pierce County Library in Washington State. Okay. Decided it was time to come back home. <laughs> well, we're, we're glad to have you here. Thank you. Um, and I was telling Sh Sean when he told me your name, I said, that name sounds familiar for some reason. I don't think we've ever met. I don't think we have But either. the name sounds familiar <laughs> still. So, <laughs> yeah. um, so what, uh, what brought you to apply for this particular job did you hear about it yeah I did and I've always I've always loved Wichita I mean this is a, a very vibrant city embraces art and has a lot of a lot of personality um, very much feel at home here um, I think in the time that I spent away um, I was able to really kind of hone some leadership skills yeah. and um, explore different culture and um, what really matters in library service and I felt like it was time to come back home and um, I could bring some of the learning that I, I did mm -hmm. um, back here to Wichita. So. Very cool. Yeah. So do you have big plans? Um, I think that I'm going to be responsible and kind of get myself reassessed because yeah. I've been gone almost a decade. It's mm -hmm. um, a lot's changed, I think, um, and especially in this last year with with COVID. Um, right. Library services really get reimagined, I think, at they this point. They certainly do. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm going to study and listen and learn and, and really connect with the staff. Um, as far as what we're currently, what we plan to be doing, and then kind of what some aspirations are for the future. But I think um, we'll continue to see new services and, and impacts for, for readers and, and learners. Yeah. So what do you think about the new learning center? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to have my office that just looks out over the, <laughs> over the I might just take one of the chairs by the, by the river. And yeah, there you a go. Beautiful view. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is a beautiful building. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and. Uh, Ron and I drove by it almost every day on our way to work, and we would check out the progress. Yeah. And one day, um, your predecessor had posted a picture of her office, and it was still under construction, mm -hmm. so it was, you know, just bare bones. And uh, she posted that on Facebook, and I said, I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Print colors. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, libraries, uh, I, I'm with you. I think they are a great environment. And I think that our kids especially, they need, we need to uh, exhibit a love of reading to our kids mm -hmm. while they're young because that's the time for them to really pick up on the right. habit and, and read because everything hinge absolutely i think um wichita has a really good history of a strong early learning program and mm -hmm. with story times and different activities i think it's a phenomenal collection for for the littles too and so it's great to see like as we're recovering from the pandemic seeing more mm -hmm. families and parents coming to the library engaging with their kids to check out new material and then yeah. just exploring the stories um that really set the foundation for, for their learning success, yeah. And the fact that our library uh, does so many outreach type deals like the, the um, uh, short, the, the Oscar shorts. Yes. 
and the big read mm -hmm. and the just so many things that our library participates in which in turn the rest of the city participates in them and those are really precious it really is i think um you know reading is not just like a, a building block for success in life and um, employment and you know career development but it also like it increases people's empathy and the feelings yes. for others and it really just adds to really part of that really strong fabric of, of what makes a community strong and great yeah, absolutely. Well, Jamie it was such a pleasure meeting you today too. we'll have to have you back sometime that would be phenomenal thank you <laughs> And we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Phil and John Agnew, so stay with us.